The hand has 27 bones, but this count avoids bones embedded in the tendons called your sesamoids into three main groups. These can be divided. Phalanges, metacarpals, carpals, with details now provided. Phalanges are the finger bones, and each hand has 14. Proximal, intermediate, distal, phalanges can be seen. Those closest to the body are called the proximal, while the distal ones are at a distance maximal. There's no intermediate phalanx in your thumb, though. In this, it mirrors the structure of your big toe. Articulation means joint, so you can remember with ease that interphalangeal articulations are joints between phalanges. Your carpals are your wrist bones, and if you will take note, please, metacarpals run from carpals to proximal phalanges between metacarpals and phalanges. That's where you'll find metacarpophalangeal joints or knuckles for the unrefined. And now for the eight carpals in two lines of four. Again, the proximal are close, distal distant from the core. First, we will introduce the distal carpal row, and there are four of these that you need to know. Ordered hamate, capitate, trapezoid, and then trapezium. The trapezium is the bone nearest to the thumb. The four proximal carpals, wrist movements help perform. The scaphoid lunitrichetrum, as well as the pisiform. The forearm has two bones. Please don't forget this. These bones are the ulna, as well as the radius. The intercarpal articulations, as a matter of fact, are the joints where your carpals come into contact. Carpometacarpal articulations go all the way around. Where carpals touch metacarpals, these joints can be found. Now here's a trick to remember. Just use this rhyme. We're going in a circle. Follow along in time. So long to the pinky. Here comes the thumb. Scaphoid lunate trichetrum. Pisiform hamate capitate. Trapezoid trapezium.